Hey guys, so I was sitting down today to fill an order for an amethyst roller bottle. And I thought, how fun would it be to just let you guys in on the process? And in the meantime, while I'm making this, you can learn a little bit about how to pair amethyst with essential oils for boosted healing benefits. So we've got amethyst, right? That we're gonna work with today to make this roller bottle. Now, the first thing that you'll wanna do is get the appropriate amount of crystals. Okay, and we're gonna put them into our roller bottle here. Wash your hands first. Obviously, anything you touch is gonna end up inside of the roller bottle. So you wanna make sure you have very clean hands before you do this. And then not only do we want to have clean hands and clean crystals, but we want to have energetically cleansed crystals as well. So we can just take our piece of sage here, sage leaf, and I've got the amount of crystals I want in my hand, and I just allow the sage smoke to filter through my hand up through the crystals. This way I can see that they are getting cleansed energetically without having to hold each individual crystal every single time, right? Okay, and we have the amount of crystals that we wanna put into our roller bottle. You want to fill the roller bottle up about a quarter of the way. Now, yes, these the amethyst is the pretty part of this roller bottle. So you might think, well, let's just fill it all the way up because then the amethyst is really pretty. But then practically speaking, if it's full of amethyst, you can't get much oil in there. So you're gonna have to keep refilling this bottle over and over and over again, right? So a quarter of the way allows you to still have a lot of liquid in the bottle, which is the part that's gonna actually be rolling onto your skin, obviously. So I go ahead and uh, wipe off on my clean jewelry towel, okay? Just to get any skin oils off of them and pop them into the bottle. Now, if you are a maker or a DIYer or you sell essential oils and you want to make some of these for uh, your customers or your team members, you can bulk cleanse the crystals so this is all of my uncleansed crystals. And then I have a section of crystals that are already cleansed. So when I'm filling orders, I usually just pull from that, but I wanted to show you guys today how you would start from, start from the beginning. But you can absolutely cleanse a bunch of them at a time, and then you won't have to do this step every time. You can just take the amount of crystals you want and you can put them in your roller bottle. Or a quarter of the way up here, okay. Plenty of room left for our essential oil and carrier oil. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to put the essential oils into this roller bottle. And we're gonna let those sit overnight so that in the morning we can add our carrier oil and then that way the essential oils have already synergized, they've all combined together then they get evenly distributed throughout the carrier oil. I have a video that talks about this much more in detail. I will link that up at the top for you and then that way you'll be able to watch all of that about synergies versus blends if you want to. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in our essential oils first. Now, if you don't have a copy of this yet, I highly recommend it. My Crystal Plus Oil Synergies Healing Guide and Recipe Book this is an ebook, but I have downloaded it and had it spiral bound just for easy access. It's really easy to do. I just took it over to Staples. So you can print it out or you can um, have it bound or you can just use it on your computer. It also comes with a printable version of all the different recipes so that you can actually just have those easily accessible with all your DIY stuff. But inside of this book, along with all of the safety info, information on the chakras, etc. We also have recipes. So if you're doing an amethyst roller bottle, the two recipes that I would recommend from the book would either be the third eye chakra recipe, okay? So this is recommending amethyst plus Envision frankincense and Palo Santo, or the meditation recipe, and I usually put amethyst and clear quartz, but you could use just amethyst if that's all you have, and then you could um, add these essential oils, Envision, Palo Santo, Sage, and Ylang Ylang, okay? So both of those are good suggestions. You can also just do some of your own research. You can 
intuit what works best for you. Now, I want you guys to use this book as a jumping off point, as an education, a foundation, and an inspiration for your own blends. I don't want you to feel like these are the only uh, essential oils you can ever use with uh, the crystals in the book. Have fun with it. But this is a great place to start, if, especially if you're new to blending different uh, essential oils or you're new to knowing which oils go with which crystals. So in this case, amethyst is a third eye chakra crystal. It's also a crown chakra crystal. It is great for meditation, for inspiration, for calming the mind, for enhancing sleep. So you can use it for any of those different reasons. And then the essential oils that you pair are going to help to enhance whichever one of those purposes you have. So if you're wanting it for sleep, you're going to want to use lavender, vetiver, cedar wood, German chamomile, all of those, you know, sleepy time oils. If you're wanting to use it for inspiration, then you're going to use uh, the oils that we're using today. So you get to choose how you pair everything and that's going to affect how your essential oils and crystals work and interact with your body to help boost your own body's natural ability to do these things like sleep, to get inspiration, to heal, okay? Now, another fun thing, I've had this question a couple of times, people asking, do I recommend just Young Living Essential Oils inside of this book. So I talk both about blends and about single oils. And of course, the single oils, it would be easy to use whichever company you prefer. With Young Living Oils, like I love Envision. I use it in, in a few different ones of these recipes. But then if you want to figure out, oh, well, I don't have Envision in my stock or I don't use Young Living Oil, so I don't have that blend. You just go right to the back and it tells you for every single blend what's in there. So Envision has black spruce, geranium, orange, lavender, sage, and rose. So I know any of those oils is going to be great for pairing with amethyst. So if I just have spruce and orange and lavender, great, go with that. What I use personally when I'm making these amethyst roller bottles is a little bit of a combination of the recipes that are in the book. So I start with Envision. That would be my main essential oil that's gonna go in here. And then I add frankincense, which is great for grounding, for enhancing meditation, for disconnecting you from the distractions of the day. Lavender, which is fantastic for your third eye, is great for calming the mind and emotions. So especially if you're having trouble connecting to inspiration because of the stress of whatever's going on in life, lavender is going to help you to just calm the mind, calm the emotions so that you can access that vibration of inspiration. And then Palo Santo, another great essential oil for meditation. It's also one of the ones that is very traditionally used in yoga and other spiritual practices. It has such a beautiful, strong kind of sweet smell. It's unusual, but delicious. So I, I like to have all four of these in this roller bottle. And this amethyst roller bottle is specifically for inspiration and meditation. All right, now if you're trying to figure out, <laughs> will this smell good? Here's the easy way to do that. Right, you can hold your nose over all the bottles and sniff and that will tell you if this combination is going to work. You can also smell each individual one and see how strong they are. That might help you determine how to balance out that scent by adding more or less of another one. When I'm making essential oils, the healing benefits is the most important thing for me when I'm making a blend. So I always start with whatever's going to be the most potent, the most powerful part of this blend, and then I'll tweak it a little bit for the scent. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, we added 12 drops of Envision. I like to put about 25 drops into my roller bottles. So if we have 25 minus 12, that's 13 drops left. So we're gonna do four of each of these and then one extra of lavender. So four of frankincense. One, two, three, four. Four of Palo Santo. One, two, three, four. And five of lavender. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now if you wanna see how this synergy is smelling, 
Mm. That smells like meditation in a bottle right there. Oh my goodness, so delightful. So now I just allow this to sit. I'm just gonna put the roller bottle cap on just loosely so that I don't lose the, the scent of the oils and the top. And I just allow this at least 12 hours overnight to synergize and then I add the carrier oil and I use fractionated coconut oil, uh, which does not turn solid. It maintains that nice rollability on the roller and it is also good for all skin types. So once your oil is all synergized and then you add your carrier, okay, the only other thing that I need to do in order to send this out is to Reiki infuse it. So I'm going to Reiki infuse it with an affirmation that lines up with the uh, meaning behind amethyst, with the properties behind the crystals and the essential oils. So for amethyst, our affirmation is, I connect to my highest power. Inspiration brings the answers I need to create the life I desire. I connect to my highest power. Inspiration brings the answers I need to create the life I desire. And so that will go with this amethyst roller bottle information, all the properties of amethyst, on the back, I write uh, recommended pairings, or if I've added the oils in there, then I write what oils I put in there. And then the use instructions, which will include the affirmation for them to use, and a couple of different ways that they could use the amethyst roller bottle in their life. For example, for inspiration, obviously intention setting, meditation, also just at the end of a long day, just to kind of calm down, disconnect from the rest of the day. So those are all great ways to use these oils and this crystal together. Now, if you want more information about how I break in infuse my crystals, I'll put a link up there so you can watch that entire video. I'll also give you guys right after this some other great crystal and essential oil videos that you can check out. And of course, make sure to check the link if you wanna get the crystal and oil synergies healing guide and recipe book. Guys, let me know any questions you have in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.